Amir Abdullahad, the 23-year-old protege from Egypt, has been nicknamed the finest for his skill to put up a show like no other in the fighting industry. Amir is expected to fight Whale Karami on September 17 on Infusion 110 in Okmar. Let's have a look and analyze some of his most impressive fights to this date. Against El Kandasi, Amir showcased some of the most powerful punches his opponent had to withstand. Starting with a counter, followed by a rage of punches coming from left and right, Amir knocked down Feuzi the first time. He did not waste any time after the referee started the match again, and he shut down his opponent with an impressive right hand to the temple that slept Feuzi within seconds of the first knockdown. It was a left top, and it was no luck at all there for Kadusi. He went down like a shot, didn't he? Star, he? Sweet, right on the chin, rolled in, boom, left up. The right hand hurt him, he did a jumping, sort of, I don't know, something that he couldn't pull off. And then next salute, he landed a sweet shot from nowhere. Good performance by him, a really good performance, got to give him credit. Against Johansson, Amir made sure his dominance was certain by keeping the pressure high the whole fight. In the second round, when Damien retreated into a corner, he unleashed a left hook followed by a strong knee that ended the fight. Sometimes you've got to beat the dog out of people, and that's what he did there, didn't he? I mean, wasn't, you know, I'm sure his coach won't be pleased with what, and you can see that. He didn't listen, and now he's, he's getting the right hand read to him just off camera. You can see that he's getting the right hand read, read to him, and he's right, you know. When fighting Malakaj, Amir released a series of combos and in the second round knocked down Christian twice. Starting with a straight punch and a left hook that pierced through the guard, a wobbly Christian was ultimately beaten again to his knees. His coach ends up throwing in the towel to stop the fight and declare Abdullah had the winner of this match. Bismir Halshani turned out to be an interesting matchup that challenged Amir to his best. After some very good exchanges, Amir showcased one of his trademarks, a precise counterpunch that knocked down Bismir and sealed the judge's decision declaring Abdullah had the winner of this match. Abdullahad vs. Hessling is arguably one of the best fights in Infusion history that saw incredible skill and talent showcased from two young and upcoming fighters. From crazy combos to smart fight plan, those two fighters left it all in the ring. Amir was ultimately declared the winner after all, but not without a very hard-fought match.
Brandon Foss was one of the toughest opponents Amir ever faced. After a flurry of punches that knocked down the newcomer, what followed was an incredible close fight that pushed both fighters to their edge. Amir ended up losing this competition, but he surely seems ready for a rematch. Since his early fights, Amir seems to have had some hidden skills that would catapult him to the next level, and that time seems to be now. With a new team and a new coach, he is looking forward to become number one in the kickboxing 70 kilogram scene. What do you think about Amir Abdullahad? Is he the next kickboxing superstar? Let us know in the comments below. next for you what are you aiming at what do you want because i believe you've got it all the talent to go all the way what do you want what was next for you i want to be number one in kickboxing 70 kilos yes. congratulations give a nice round of applause ladies and gentlemen